Hey everybody, Tim here for today's review of Doctor Who story number two, eight to three. I still can't even like imagine like what was it, like over a year ago, like starting these videos and like number one, story number two, two story 283, arachnids in the UK, obviously a reference to anarchy in the UK. Overall, loved it. I thought it was really, really well done. So for somebody like, I wouldn't necessarily say I have arachnophobia, but I mean, to quote what was uh, the character in Star Trek Rebels, where he's like, anything with more than three legs is just excessive. Like it's a little bit much. And then if you guys want, there was a video, I'm not gonna say which video, I'll make you work for it if you really wanna see it. There was a video that my partner Julie and I, like we were watching Batman, the 1960s TV show. And we had walked in here and I didn't realize it, but I had walked through a spider web and we started the video and there was a spider on my face. And when you watch the video, you can watch the spider crawl up my face. And I just kind of instinctly just kind of did this. Like, I actually, I, it's when I still had my long hair. I brushed it through my long hair and threw it down without noticing. I didn't even notice until I threw it down and it hit my leg and bounced off. But guess what? Kept the video going because I'm a pro and I'm a drunk. It's cool. Overall for this one, as I had talked about like recently with the episode Rosa, I was kind of surprised by like the American story. That being said, to have Chris North in this episode, I lost my shit. I called my husband in the room. I was like, oh, look, look. Because, I mean, Chris North is a great actor. He's fantastic. And so I was just so happy to see him. And it just, it threw me over the moon. So he plays the character of Robertson. So a lot of people probably know him from like Law and Order, stuff like that. But like my husband and I know him from Sex and the City. He plays Mr. Big and it was great. I was so happy to see him. But I mean, it's kind of funny because he literally plays like Trump, like a Trump character. And they even bring up Trump in this episode. And he's like, I hate him. Don't say his name. You hate him because you are him. Where he's like this businessman that's trying to go political. Like that's literally who he is. So as soon as I saw him, I mean Doctor Who, I mean there have been American guest stars. But it's few and far between. So when he came in, I was ecstatic. I really, really enjoyed it. And then the whole episode, like the spider thing is a little tough in scenes where you're just like, oh God, like it's, it's a spider. Fuck it. Um, I was kind of hoping for a reference to, so if you go back, uh, what was it? Like one of the last 12 Doctor episodes, the one with both Missy and the Master together, they make a reference where they're like, we didn't know how to kill you. And Missy has the line of like, well, we know you've died from falling which is a reference to how the fourth doctor died because he, the, the master was kind of the result of him falling from like a satellite or a, a dish or something. And he fell and he had to regenerate. So I was really kind of hoping for another reference like that because spiders are kind of responsible for the third doctor having to regenerate into the fourth. And he was like, I, I was just really hoping to see Jody just be like, I don't like spiders. I haven't liked spiders since Metabetis three. Like, I just, I don't like them. Like that would have been great. Like that, a little reference like that would have been fantastic. Uh, we get to see Graham's wife appear like momentarily. And so I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a thing for the rest of the series or at least the season to kind of see him struggling with her death from like the first episode of the season. Makes sense, I get it. The whole premise is very comic booky of like, oh, we accidentally threw out a live spider because we thought it was dead. And at the same time, Robertson has been filling this whole cave up with like just toxic waste and the two meshed for gigantic spiders. Done. Like it's very, very comic booky. It still, it worked for me. I really liked it. It was creepy as fuck, like opening the rooms and just bodies. I liked it. 
So overall, curious what other people think. Did it trigger you? Because I know some people like actually freaked out. They were like, nope, never going to watch this. So curious what other people think. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. I'll see you guys next time for the Tesserang Condurum. Condurum. Whatever. I don't know.